Hello everyone, Sistiana here to do your weekend tarot reading for the weekend ahead of February 13th and 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone and I do plan on having a special Valentine's Day video up so be checking out for that. Um, remember that this is a very general reading for all the signs Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you don't know those signs, you can check out the video link in the description where I'll take you through it step by step. Very easy process and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, also, there are timestamps in the description below as well, so you can just skip ahead to your sign. So let's get this started, right? Starting with Aries. Message for Aries for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, underlying energy is the Knights of Swords. So we have Earth energy here towards Virgo Capricorn. You can have Earth in your chart or dealing with someone with Earth in theirs. I feel here for you, Aries, it's all about needing to slow it down this weekend, needing to uh, you know, sit back and relax a bit. You have some type of decision that you've made or needing to make, and I feel like you're just needing to push forward with implementing whatever that decision is bringing in for you. I feel like you could be feeling a bit stuck this weekend, so it's like, just you know, don't try to push anything. Don't try to rush anything because you know, it's like you just need to... Take the time. Just taking the time here. So let's clarify this reading for Aries. The lovers. Uh, three of cups. And the chariot. Underlying energy is strength. Okay, so we have Leo, Gemini, and Cancer energy now for you as well. Could have any of those in your chart or dealing with someone with those energies in theirs. I do feel like here for you, Aries, for some of you, this is a decision within a relationship. A soulmate situation, friend or foe, doesn't matter. This is a connection with a person you have on a deep level. Um, it's just having that, that connection with this person. Now, I do see you moving forward, and it's like I said, you feel like, I feel like you need to take the weekend to kind of relax, kind of just gather your, your wits and figure out, like, get your game plan going. Get your game plan going so that you can move forward, because I do feel like after the weekend, you'll, you'll have that um, momentum starting up again, because I feel like things have been just a little bit too, too fast moving for you. You're needing the weekend to regain your bearings, regain your your confidence there. Um, you do have the inner strength to push forward. It's like, but kind of like I said, I feel like you're you're needing a recharge. You're needing a recharge here this weekend, Aries. So moving forward in the right direction and just just some take some time for yourself this weekend. So I hope the message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Taurus. Message for Taurus for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Lovers. Eight of Swords. Six of Wands. Underlying Energy. King of Pentacles, your energy. Now we have Gemini energy here as well. Um, so you could have Gemini in your chart or dealing with someone with energy, Gemini in theirs. Also, we have the Earth energy, your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, uh, Taurus, you're, it's like having some type of breakthrough moment in a relationship situation, a soulmate situation that is bringing in a victory type of energy for you. It's like having some type of major epiphany or just a, a victory for you. Finding something out and it's like, woohoo, um, are we celebrating? So let's clarify this reading for Taurus, please. The document. Queen of Pentacles. 
Eight of Cups and the underlying energy is the Ten of Rods. So there's an ending here for you, Taurus. And I feel like this is like, this has been a burden that you've been dealing with. Your energy is coming in strong, feeling like you've been feeling a bit trapped or feeling a bit stuck. And it's like there's something happening here that you're breaking free from and moving forward in, um, and it's like leaving something behind, really having to close a chapter in your life is what I'm feeling here for you, Taurus. Yeah, it's like you, maybe you're having to write things out. Maybe you're needing to make some type of plan, making some type of actions, like putting forth some type of actions. For some of you, it is something to do with legal documents coming in as well. Um, and it could be like a a final divorce papers coming in or receiving some type of separation papers. I don't know. It's like, I just feel like there's some type of formal and it's like the ending of a chapter and moving forward. Now this could be to do with your soulmate person, this person you're dealing with here, that they're receiving some type of paperwork and it's allowing y'all to finally move forward in your situation, whatever it might be. I just feel like there's something to do with some documents and I feel like it is to do with your person and not directly to do with you. So definitely moving um, moving on from this situation and finally breaking free. Being able to um, just leave that chapter in, it's like closing that chapter in your life or in y'all life. So Taurus, I hope that message helps. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. And Gemini. Message for Gemini for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Five of Pentacles. Six of Swords. King of Wands, underlying energy is the star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have those in your chart. So Gemini, um, got some blessings coming in. You may have just received a yes answer for something. Also see there is a reconnect and moving forward, possibly with a fire sign here, Gemini. Maybe that's what your yes answer is. Are you hoping, wishing, praying for something as well? I do see that. But I feel like there is a, uh, like a reconnect and a disconnect situation going on here for you, Gemini, where it's like, this is standing for both. You're both, you're leaving something behind, but you're also reconnecting and moving in the right direction, like connecting with your, your highest path. You're connecting with what you're meant to be doing. So let's clarify this reading for Gemini, please. Five of Rods, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups, Underlying Energy, Six of Cups. Okay, so blessings from the past could be to do with children, but I feel like this is more of something from the past that's kind of been on your mind a bit, Gemini. Now, I do see you could be really, really stuck in your head, really stuck in your head to do with a fire sign. I do see that you have changes coming in for you that it's like, I feel like you're, you're not really sure how to handle this person. They could be just a very intense person, but I feel like this is an intense situation and you're just not really sure how to handle it, but you are moving towards it. It's like, you know, you got to do this. You know, you've got to do this. There is a reconnect with other people around you. I feel like this is a past energy that you're reconnecting with, it's like, as I said at the beginning, I feel like you're reconnecting on your, your true path type of thing here, Gemini. Wow. Yeah, I, I feel like you're, you're finally getting somewhere. Do prepare for some changes to happen. Changes are coming in for you. So Gemini, I hope that message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Cancer. <clears throat> Five of 
message for Cancer for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. The Fool. The Hangman. And the Star. Wow, Cancer, what a way to start this out. Underlying energy, Ten of Swords, and ending an ending to a situation now we do have aquarius energy that is the only energy but you've got three major arcanas here three out of four let's see how many more pop out for you you've got some big things happening this weekend cancer new beginnings with endings is clearing out some energy here waiting on a yes answer but it is going to happen for you cancer it's like, it, this is a major transformation type of thing going on, Cancer. Really nice. Let's clarify this reading for Cancer, please. Knight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Underlying Energy, Nine of Pentacles. Major transformation. The ending, it's a blessing for you. I feel that... We have water energy, your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, but they could be a bit younger, immature. I just feel like this is going to be some emotional communication going on. I do feel like this new beginning and ending is rushing in, bringing in some major abundance that you've been waiting for. And as I said, I, I see a yes answer coming in for you, Cancer. Um... And I feel like this is to do with money. Could be to do with a job for you, Cancer. But it's a, a major blessings. Major blessings. It's major energy coming in, Cancer. Major abundance. Everything's going to feel great. Everything's going to be perfect. It's going to be really nice. I hope that is like this is so quick and so simple for you. I just feel like it's very positive. I hope the message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Okay, Leo. Message for Leo. We have the Eight of Wands just flew out. For the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Knights of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Underlying energy is the Five of Swords, so victory is yours, right? Now, it's not going to be the easiest of weekends here, Leo. I feel like it's going to be one of those up and down, very emotional roller coaster type of weekends. Ooh. Um, but communications, dealing with a possible child or immature water sign, or you could have water in your chart, that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, dealing with some immature communication. Hmm. Uh, now, could you be just cutting up and acting a fool? Yes, uh, that's possible. Uh, I mean, I kind of feel like that's a little bit more so of your, your situation than a um, immature energy, like... I just, I feel like it's going to be some, you know, cutting up and acting a fool. We had the page of cups that just flew out while I was shuffling here. So let's finish clarifying this reading for Leo, please. We got flyers. We got the three of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles. Three of pentacles, queen of pentacles. I don't know if I even, I thought I said queen of pentacles for a second there. We have the temperance for the underlying energy. So dealing with possible Sagittarius. Earth's energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The water energy is coming out strong. So you could have any of those in your chart or dealing with some of those energies in theirs. Uh, again, the whole acting a fool kind of thing. I, I do feel that type of energy. I do feel like you need to have patience. Your patience will be rewarded. Your victory is coming in for you because you've been having, you've had this patience. You need to compromise as well. Like compromise is bringing in victory. There's communication with a earth sign or there is some type of like to do with money. And it, it's like just, it's a bit emotional there. I do feel like there's going to be a sense of some type of, um, mood swings, but it's like building upon your emotions as well. Communications is going to be very emotional this weekend. 
And as I said, I just I kind of feel like for some of you Leos, it's going to be really kind of that acting a fool type of weekend, like just having a, a little bit of uh, jo joy and just playful type of energy. So, Leo, I hope that message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. And Virgo. <clears throat> Message for Virgo for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. The Lovers. Justice. And the Two of Swords. Underlying energy, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so an emotional roller coaster of time that you've been dealing with, huh? Now you could be dealing with a Gemini or Libra, or you could have those in your chart. A soulmate situation coming into focus, and there's kind of like a roadblock, or there's a feeling of being stuck. Maybe you're needing to block someone out as well. I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of like it's kind of back and forth here it's there's no clear communication let's clarify this so we can actually get your full reading because i just feel like there's too much too much going on clarify this reading for virgo please <coughs> king of pentacles eight of rods the documents underlying energy queen of pentacles so your energy is coming in strong earth with the King and Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could have fellow Earth signs in your chart or dealing with a fellow Earth sign. Now, I see there being something to do with your relationship that's really, you're needing to focus your communications, really focus your communications because there's some type of um, needing to break free. Now, it could be to do with a legal document. Um, maybe a legal separation for some of you Virgos. I just feel like there's going to be something there. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. There's something there that's like written form of communication that is not completely being clear. It's not really being clear here. Needing to put more focus in on your communication. I feel it's going to be very important for you, Virgo. You yourself having some mood swings. Hey, it happens, right? Um, and it's Valentine's weekend. So, Maybe you're just not sure how to be for Valentine's Day. Is your situation different this year? I don't know. Only you'll know that. Remember, this is a very general reading, though. So I hope that message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. And Libra. Message for Libra for this weekend for February 13th and 14th, please. Eight of Wands. Page of Cups. And Judgment. Underlying Energy, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so it's not going to be that bad of a weekend, right? Now, it could be a bit emotional. You could be dealing with a water sign, young or immature, or you could have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is a sense of some, um, honestly, Libra, I feel like there's going to be something emotional coming in from the past, and it's to do with communications. I feel like there's like this sense of rehashing something from the past here. But I feel like it was like a better time for you. So you're kind of being a bit nostalgic. Like I feel like it's more about the nostalgia here, Libra. So let's clarify this reading for Libra, please. The moon. Three of wands. Ace of rods. Underlying energy, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so Libra, new beginnings here for you. Very strong. Now, you have Cancer Pisces here. 
could have Cancer or Pisces in your chart or dealing with those energies. Also, something's being revealed within communication. Some type of decision. Decision. A new beginning from the past coming back in. I said it felt like you're being a bit nostalgic here this weekend, Libra. So maybe there's a new beginning that's coming in that's bringing a little bit more pleasant type of energy for you. I do feel like that um, that childlike energy, that playful energy here as well. But I really, I, I strongly feel like maybe there's something, uh, I'm getting something to do with the new moon as well. The new moon that just happened in Aquarius. Check and see how that hits your chart, your placement, your chart for your birth chart. Because there could be something being brought in new from that new moon. So, yeah, Libra, new beginnings, very strong. And it, it's really nice. And I, I do feel like this could be something you started in the past that's kind of just taken off. So, I hope that message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. In Scorpio. Message for Scorpio for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Temperance. The Star. And the Lovers. Underlying Energy. The Page of Cups. So your energy is coming in strong. That would be possibly a bit younger and mature as well. But we have the water, nonetheless. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Gemini. Now you could have any of those in your chart or dealing with someone with those in their chart. Three out of ma four major arcanas here, Scorpio. Let's see what the rest of it comes out as. But you got some big things happening this weekend, Scorpio. Do have the patience. Your blessings, your yes answer. I, for some of you, Scorpios, if this is a relationship situation, you're waiting on a yes answer, you're about to get it. Let's get, oh, clarify this reading for Scorpio, and I am loving it already for you. you get the Ace of Cups, the Two of Rods, and the Empress. Big things are really coming in for you, Scorpio. Underlying energy, the Knight of Rods. So, emotional communication rushing your way. New beginning in love. And as I was saying when it, before I even put that card out, Scorpio, I feel like this is a new relationship coming in for you. Um... And it's like you've been really being patient, really being, you're, you're honestly been waiting. You're patient for this, right? Now, if you're in a relationship, Scorpio, this could be just a connection with a soulmate, a, a dear friend that you've had in the past that you're kind of reconnecting here with. Now, this could be to do with a mother figure, <clears throat> but I feel like this is to do with a new relationship that's being brought in. And relationship, I use the, the word loosely because it's, can mean just a friendship, can mean just a new best friend coming in, but it's very pleasant, it's very nice, and it's like there's some type of decision that's a yes answer for you. So while I do feel like this could be just a new best friend, for Scorpio, I do feel like for some of you, this is a new relationship. This is something really positive, and this is something very just intense coming in for you this weekend, Scorpio. Like Valentine's Day, you may be finding your new love, or taking your relationship to a new level. Hmm. I don't know. You tell me, Scorpio. Let me know what you think. Um, and I hope this message helps you. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Okay, Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. The Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And the Hermit. Underlying Energy, the Two of Wands. Decisions. <clears throat> could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could have Earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavy Virgo. There is a sense of needing to kind of ground yourself. 
I feel like, yeah, you're you're making decisions and you're moving forward. Now, you could be making a decision about a move. And I feel like you need to trust your intuition, trust your instincts, trust the universe is leading you in the right direction. But trust yourself first and foremost. Let's clarify this reading for Sagittarius, please. Three of Wands. Queen of Cups. Three of Cups. Underlying Energy. Six of Rods. Okay, yeah. Decision that is in your best, um, your best intentions, your best outlook. Okay, your the your best path. We have water energy now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have water in your chart or dealing with a water sign. I feel like okay, you made this recent decision to move or to change jobs. There's some type of decision that has recently played a big part in your life. I do see communication being very important. And I do see that it's like molding, molding you into the, the person that you're meant to be. There is communications is very strong. There is um, celebrations coming in. Trust your instincts on what to do on how to handle the celebration. Because it's like... You know, with everything going on, needing to be six foot apart and stuff like that. Just be careful with your celebrations here, okay? I do feel like it's going to be emotional, something to do with your money, something to do with your home, your family. But it's very intense. It is because of victory energy here for you, uh, Sagittarius. So really, really nice. Always trust your instincts. Trust your intuition here. I feel like that is going to be the most important thing for you to get out of this weekend is trusting yourself. And it's like, um, <clears throat> sorry, y'all. I feel like there's going to be a sense of needing to, um, it's like receiving messages and it's like um psychic connection type of thing so i don't feel like it's going to be actual verbal communication but more of like reading between the lines okay i hope that message helps i hope it makes sense don't forget to watch your moon rising and venus and thank you for watching and capricorn message for Capricorn for the weekend ahead February 13th and 14th please nine of cups five of pentacles ace of cups underlying energy is the page of swords so dealing with a possible air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, young or immature, you could have air on your chart. I feel here for you though, Capricorn, this is all about communications going smoothly and wishes coming true and connecting with a love, connecting with your love or a new love. Um, I feel like this is more of a present love from some of you Capricorns. It's all about aligning yourself with your, your pious path. It's connecting with your love. It's Valentine's weekend. I do feel like it's like that type of energy here coming in Capricorn. Let's clarify this reading for Capricorn, please. Seven of Swords. The Devil. And the Sun. Underlying energy. Seven of Rods. Okay. So. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Okay, wish is coming true with a moving forward with a situation. I feel like there's a whole, you know, kind of taking your love to the next level. It's connecting with your love, having communications with your person. Now, you've got your card here, the devil, Capricorn energy here. And we have the sun, which is Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. I feel though this is a new, this is all about that new beginning for you. It's beautiful. It's happy. It's it, you're getting what you're wanting. You're connecting, reconnecting. And this is you. I mean, you yourself having this, this blast. Like really a blast Capricorn. 
really happy energy. Communications and building those communications, building yourself up, Capricorn. So it's like, if this is not a new love, or if you're already in relationship or whatever, this could also be you just aligning yourself with your true happiness and just finding your, finding your place, finding what makes you happy. Like, I just, I feel like it's going to be that truly happy type of energy here, Capricorn. So I hope that message helps. I hope it makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Aquarius. Message for Aquarius for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Five of Cups. And the Empress. Underlying energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Work, 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 Aquarius. You got to work. You got to put the work in. You have a new beginning, creating something new. Hopes and wishes prayers or being heard they're like waking up and seeing something and it's like man i am grateful it's like having this moment of like you know um, yeah i'm grateful for the life that i have type of energy and bringing in something new is creating something new but you've been working towards this right let's clarify this reading for aquarius please king of cups Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Underlying Energy, Ace of Cups. Oh, okay, so Aquarius, some of you are working towards a new relationship. Double Ace of Cups. <clears throat> you have water energy now, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could have water in your chart or dealing with somebody with water in theirs. It's a new emotional beginning. This is unexpected. Um... <sighs> For some of you, you, you're you kind of regretting something and you weren't expecting to have such deep feelings towards it. And now you're stressing about it. You could be worried and fearful or um, very stuck in your head about something from the past. Could be from a mother figure. Like, I just feel like there's a lot of anxiety there and you're just not really sure how to handle it. Like, very worried about a situation and it's like, I feel like you, you weren't expecting to have all these emotions coming in. Like fear, uh, fear about creating something new, fear about a new beginning coming in, fear about starting a new relationship for some of you Aquarius. Um, it's just like, it's starting something and you're just, you're not you're not reacting to it as you thought you were gonna like you you put you had your mind you were you were building up to it and building up to it and building up to it and now you're like <gasps> froze you froze what what am i going to do next so it's like just take some time to quiet your mind and even like for some of you taking out and writing pros and cons what what's going to be the best action to take so i hope that message helps i hope that makes sense don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Pisces. <clears throat> Message for Pisces for the weekend ahead, February 13th and 14th, please. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, Underlying Energy, Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning in Money, or a New Daily Routine, a New Habit. You're trying to form a new habit. Now, I do feel like you have some type of decision, and there's some uncertainty about this decision. Um... It's, a, it's heavy on your mind, though. It's really heavy on your mind. Um, I feel like it's to do with this, like, possibly new daily routine, but, like, you're trying to decide how to 
go forward with it. I, I just feel like there's a lot of uncertainty, though. A lot of uncertainty. Not really wanting to see what's the, the true options as well. Let's clarify this reading for Pisces, please. The Devil. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. Underlying energy, the Empress. So it is about creating something new. Could be to do with a mother figure, but I feel like from Pisces, I just feel like this is a new beginning that you're trying to create something new. And you're, it's a lot of uncertainty here. I do see you have the devil. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. I feel like this is, um, it's like trying to decide something and it's about a toxic situation. You do know that it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take some time to get through this very, very intense and very heavy type of uh, situation. Very confusing, very um, just really needing to like Pisces. And I remember your your monthly reading. For some reason, Pisces monthly reading has really has been sticking in my in my head that there is a need to really think things through before taking action, not allowing things to become too overwhelming. Like take your time and not try to rush it. Yes, it's an intense situation, but you need to take time. There's a new beginning that's coming in that you need to, it's like weighing out your options here really weighing out your options so i hope that message helps i hope that makes sense for you pisces make sure you watch your moon rising and venus as well and thank you for watching thank you everyone that does stick around to the end i do appreciate you and i hope everyone has a great weekend till next time i'm out for now